All right, guys, I got some interesting key books I like a lot. Let's start the video now. Hey, ladies and gents, your pal Rob here. If you guys are looking for cool comics, spec comics, first appearance, classic covers, or really cool stories, you're at the right channel. Welcome aboard. Let's start with the comics. All right, guys, the first comic I got here is from Ion Comics, Carl, who should be on YouTube, by the way. Anyway, that being said, thanks, Carl, for the deal. I picked up this one from him. This is Wild Thing. This is Wizard Zero. This is the daughter of Wolverine. This is an obvious homage to Hulk 181. This is not her first appearance. This is just a homage cover. Her first appearance is in Juggernaut 2, issue number five. I don't have that one. It doesn't cost very much. But anyway, guys, it's an interesting book here. Is it a good spec book? It's, I'm not sure if she's in the same universe as like the 616 universe, for example, so I can't say. But it would be cool to see her in something in the future. So, for a couple of bucks, cool cover, why not? Okay, the next comic here is Batman 609. Really nice Jim Lee cover. And guys and gals, this comic here is the first appearance of Thomas Elliot, who was a, a childhood friend of Bruce Wayne. However, in issue 609, he becomes, excuse me, 619, he's revealed to be Hush. And the rumor on the Batman movie is there's a the Riddler character in the trailer may turn out to be Hush. So if you got to this book for like five or ten dollars, it goes for about 25, you know, plus online on eBay. You know, it might be worth picking up this book in issue 619 because this is first Thomas Elliot and 619 is first Hush. So I think it's a good spec. All right, guys, these next comics were kind of a blast from the past. I remember buying these. Got these for a dollar a piece. This is Amazing Spider-Man 430. This is the first cameo or first appearance of Cosmic Carnage. And um, this is a newsstand. Is it? Yes, it's a newsstand. It's not in near mint condition, but it's still a cool find for a dollar. I couldn't pass it up. I even managed to find issue 431 for a dollar. Newsstand also. So if you guys see these books for a dollar a piece, obviously you're gonna buy them. Um, this is the first full Cosmic Carnage on cover and, and story. So, um, if these were in near mint condition and they're not, they would probably go for about 60 plus dollars each, I think. So, if you guys see these books in the dollar bins or for a decent price, they're a really good book to get. All right, guys, this next book I picked up cheap, but I thought it was a kind of a fun book to get. Superman issue 463. The Flash for Superman with Mr. Mitzelplik, I think that's how you pronounce it, refereeing the race. I had in my poll uh, recently who would win. I believe The Flash won pretty easily. So, yeah, anyway, guys, I got this book probably for a dollar or two. Um, is it a good spec book? You know, it's, it's a fun book. It's not really a spec book. It's a fun read to see what happens and who wins in the end. I'm not going to spoil it. You have to buy it and understand who won. So... Um, it's a fun book. Superman 463, The Flash for a Superman Race. All right, guys, next book everybody should know about. I found it for a buck at a show. Superman, Man of Steel 18. First full appearance and cover him Doomsday. Um, at one time, you know, when the Doomsday craze was going on, this book was going for about 200 plus and 9.8. And, and I think it ran about 25, 30 in you know raw near mint i had about 60 copies of this book <laughs> they're all gone this is the only copy i have right now that i bought not too long ago i mean you guys you see this book for a buck or two it's is a good spec no it's just a, it's just a historical book it's a man's first death um and the only i guess individual who defeated him physically so see this book for cheap it's worth picking up and reading all right guys the next book i have here is the Incredible Hulk 49. 
And this is the, I guess, where the Wild Things Are cover. Got this for a dollar. It's not really a spec book. I just remember the series when I was a kid. More of a fun, just fun memory cover. That's why I got it. So as far as being a spec, probably not. Just something from everybody's childhood where the wild things are. So if you see it for a buck or two, I think it's worth picking up. Hey guys, if you ever saw your comic collection, I recommend Infinity Comics. They're a great company. They pay fair. They buy collections large or small. If you do contact them, tell me your pal Rob sent you. All right guys, next book may be one you may not have seen before. We all know that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are really popular and their first book is a classic cover, classic story, and hard book to get. It's very expensive. We know that the first, second, and third print books have all the same cover. The first cover that is different would be this book right here. This is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one, fourth print. Now I've shown this book before guys, but for those who are new and never seen it before, this is the fourth print cover. Now I believe there are 50,000 printed back in the day. How many exist now, I have no idea, but this book goes for, I believe about $100 high grade raw and 9.8, I have no idea. So you see, if you guys see this book for 20, 30 bucks, maybe even 50, I think it's a good spec, it's worth picking up because this cover is the first different cover from the previous printings. So I think it's a good spec. All right guys, this next book is pretty cool. Um, I've shown you um, comics of the Black Badge comic, the variants. This is a story about Special Forces Boy Scouts. This one I've never, this one I may have shown you before, but I don't recall. This is the one I believe in one and 30th um, variant. So a ratio variant. This one goes for a little bit of money because it's, you don't see it very often. I got it for about 20 bucks. Thanks, Dustin. Um, if you guys see this book for you know, 15, 20 bucks, it might be worth picking up because this is that's an option. I've heard anything about development in this book yet, but it's still a cool book and it's an interesting story and we'll see where it goes. All right, guys, my next comic here is pretty cool. And this is Kanan, The Last Padawan. And I believe this is the exclusive variant for BAM. Books a million, I don't know what that stands for, but I'm guessing. Anyway guys, this book I got for $25, I think. Yeah, made about 25 bucks for it. It goes for about 35 to 50, I think, raw. Anyway guys, this book is the first uh, cameo of Ezra, the last Padawan, I think, or Ezra the Padawan. Um, and it's also the first cameo appearance of um, Sabine Wren, a Mandalorian. So I think number six is their first, their first full appearance, but this is the first appearance of these characters. You see this book for 20, 30 bucks. I think it's worth picking up because in the Ahsoka series, we might be hearing about Ezra or she's searching out for Ezra, a Padawan. So this book is a good spec. I think it has been going up. So if you see any of the issue ones, whether it be a variant or a regular cover, I think it's worth picking up and also get issue six. The six goes for a lot more money. I think it goes for about 150 plus in high grade condition, so. All right guys, the next book here is a book I really enjoyed the story. It's, it's probably a top 10 story so far this year. And it's this book right here, ENIAC Win. I'm not gonna do any spoilers, but the white trade dress titled one was a low print first, you know, number one. So it's hard to get, it's expensive. A lot of stories didn't get it in stock. If you guys see the one in black trade dress title, you shouldn't pay more than cover for it. That it might be available later on. I can't confirm that, so that's just hearsay so far. But if you can get it for cover, it's an awesome read. Um, I'm looking forward to issue number two. This story is that good. Um, I enjoyed Fear Case, I enjoyed Erratic so far. This is up there with them. And by the way, this is not a book that kids can read. This is really, it's very violent and um, not for kids. Hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you enjoyed the comics, leave a like. If you have any questions about the comics, the prices, the video, or anything else, 
put it in the comment section below. And also make sure you have your notification turned on because I upload videos pretty regularly. All right, that'll do it for today. I will see you soon.